Hi, everybody. Welcome to Workout Wednesdays with the PEAK program. Uh, my name is Brittany, and I will be leading the exercise session tonight. Um, now, we're, we have about eight minutes before we get going here. So if you guys have the chat box open up, feel free to say hi. Let me know how your Wednesday was. Um, and I know there's a, a shamrock dance, I believe, coming up next week. So uh, let me know what either your favorite song is that they're hoping they're going to play or uh, maybe what your favorite dance move is. Awesome. I see some people starting to log on here. Hi, Michael. Hi, Kevin. Again, we'll let people just slowly start to sign on here. Again, if you're just joining us, uh, my name's Brittany and uh, I'll be leading your workout tonight. Um, I want to hear what songs you guys are excited to hear at the dance, our virtual dance next week. I think it's the, the Shamrock dance. So let me know uh, what songs you're excited to play or hear them play. And maybe if you have a favorite dance move. Oh, Jordan, you're not late. Don't worry. We got lots of time. We still have eight or seven minutes before we get going here. So we got lots of time. Um, I want everyone to make sure they've got water because we're going to need it. We're going to be working really, really hard tonight. Oh, there goes my cat. Uh, make sure uh, make sure you have a piece of paper and a pencil, um, as well as if you have a pillow, which I need to grab. Make sure you guys have a small pillow or something like that as well, okay? So I got my pillow. Awesome. So Gavin's excited to hear some Sean Mendes at the dance. Hi, Kim. Awesome. So again, if you guys are just signing on, uh, let's make sure we've got a water bottle, a piece of paper and a pen, pillow or something kind of like that. And then a chair if you need to for some balance exercises that we will be doing as well. Now you may see my cat kind of coming in and out of the background there. Her name is Charlie and she'll definitely be making an appearance during our workouts tonight. Hi, Jordan. Awesome. This is perfect. We've got lots of people starting to sign on here. So again, make sure you've got a water bottle with you. Paper, pencil. Oh, I'm glad you think she's cute. Thanks, Jordan. Oh, I see her. She'll make an appearance again. Now, again, uh, to kind of keep things going in the chat, Gavin, let us know what his favorite song is that they're hoping to play at the dance next, uh, I believe, next Thursday. So if you guys are going to the virtual dance, maybe post what song you're excited to hear about. I've seen some of those uh, already being posted to the Peak group. Awesome. Jordan's got her paper and pen. Awesome. We've got Gavin. Perfect. Other things you can maybe post is uh, what your favorite exercise has been over the past kind of, yeah, I guess it's been almost eight weeks now. So if you've had a favorite exercise you've been doing or a favorite activity that's been on your bingo card, you guys can go, uh, go ahead and post that in the chat as well. Awesome. Dylan has some apple juice instead of water. So you got something to drink that's good. Hi, Megan. How are you? Hi, Andrew. How's it going? Again, we still have about four minutes before we get going here. So if you've just joined us, um, make sure you've got a pen, piece of paper, water, really important, small pillow or something like that, uh, and a chair if you need to for balance. Also, if you have a yoga mat, you can lay that down as well, too. Oh, somebody likes some push-ups and plank. Those are very good exercises. Hi, Laura Ann. Hi, Nick. Oh. 
Oh, I don't know if I did something to the chat. Ooh. Oh, there it goes. It's still there. Awesome. Uh oh, did I lose the chat? Can somebody post something in the chat box and I'll see if I accidentally lost lost the chat on my end here. Uh oh. Okay, I'm gonna see if I can get the chat back here. Oh, there it is, got it. Jordan likes push-ups for her favorite exercise. Hi, Wyatt, hi, Kelly. Oh, we got an Oilers fan here. Who are the Oilers playing tonight, Andrew? Yeah, Megan, that's fine. You can totally use your exercise bed. Hi, Spencer. Hi, Thomasina. Hi, Lonnie. I send virtual hugs back. Awesome. Hi, Spencer. If Rachel's there, tell her I say hi as well. Hi, Lindsay. That's no worries, Christina, at all. Schedules change all the time, so that's okay if you can't make them anymore. That's okay. Um, so we are T-minus about one minute before we start to get going here. So for those of you who have just joined, uh, I want you to make sure you have a water bottle, piece of pen, and paper. Oh, we got some uh, Oh, Edmonton's playing Ottawa Senators. Okay. Uh, hi, Ryan. Make sure you have a pillow or something similar to that, uh, as well as a chair for a little bit of balance. Um, we'll give people just a few more minutes because we seem to get lots signing on right now. Yeah, Jordan, that's fine as well. You got her. Hi, Sarah. You'll, hi, Gavin. You'll, we'll, I'll give you the code at close to the end of the session, okay? I promise I'll, I'll promise I'll give it out, but I'll give it closer to the end of the session. All right, we'll give it just a few more minutes here. Yeah, you got it, Jordan. I'll hand it out closer to when we're done the workout session. I promise I'll remember. Andrew's asking if Team Snowy Owl is ready to go. Okay, so we'll go kind of 30 more seconds here. And then we're going to get going with our warm up. So, again, please make sure you've got a water bottle, pencil, uh, paper. Uh, what's Amy saying? Or what's Sarah saying? Yeah, that's totally fine, Sarah. You take it how it feels today, especially if you did do a long cross country ski. That's totally fine. Um, I will be giving modifications for a lot of the exercises as well, too. So, uh, if we need that, we'll make sure we, we do that. Hi, Gila. Okay. So we are officially at 7 p.m. So we're gonna get going here. Now, Charlie is kind of sitting on my workout plan, so I must move her. But everybody, this is Charlie, my kitty. She'll be making making her appearances tonight. So workout. So again, warm-ups are really important for all types of exercises. It makes sure our body is ready as well as our muscles, our nervous system, our heart, and our lungs so we can perform at our best. So we're going to get going with our first part. And our first part of our warm-up is activation. And so what we mean by activation, like um, all the instructors have been doing, is we want to make sure we're getting the muscles ready that we're going to be using today. Oh, we got a few more people in the chat here. Hi, James. Awesome. Okay. So we're going to start with our activation exercises. So we're going to start with our upper body and shoulders today. So I'm going to get everybody onto all fours. So we want to see your knees underneath your hips and your wrists underneath your shoulders. And what we're going to do here is we're going to bring one hand just to the side of your head. And then what I'm going to get you to do is you're going to turn and you're going to look up at that elbow and bring it all the way back down to the start. Now, the key thing with this exercise is to make sure we don't move our hips. 
So if we end up moving our hips like I'm going to demonstrate right now, we don't quite get to stretch out the area we want. So we want to make sure we keep those hips nice and still as we rotate and look up at our elbow. All right, we're going to switch and we're going to move to the other side here. So again, lining that wrist up right underneath our shoulder, hand comes to our ear, and this time we're going to turn and look the other way. Now it's really common to notice one side might be a little tighter, or it could be a little looser than the other side. It's really normal with most bodies, but again, we can continue to work, work on it to make sure they're a little bit more even by the end of the workout. All right, we're going to do two more here. Last one coming up. Excellent. All right. So from here, we're going to move into our lower back. We're going to wake up those lower back muscles. I'm just going to check the, check the chat box here. Awesome. All right. So for our lower back, what we're going to do is we're going to reverse. We're going to be on our back feet flat on floor, arms just out to the side. We're going to let your legs fall one direction. And then you're going to pick them up. Make sure your core has a little, or you're pulling your belly button in just a little bit and let them fall to the other side. Now you should start to feel this stretch kind of in the lower part of your back, kind of right where the top of your pants would normally sit. Good. Again, going to the other side. We're going to do this three more times each side for a total of five. Good. Now the other thing to think about when you are doing warm up is making sure you're breathing, getting that oxygen into the lungs and into the blood and then to the working muscles. All right, we're gonna go one more time each side. Here we go. Excellent. All right, moving on to our next activation exercise. So from here, what we're going to do is we're going to start to warm up our glutes or our bum cheeks. Now, our glutes and bum cheeks are really important muscles. They help to stabilize our hips, as well as allow us to do things like squats and lunges, which are important for most sports. So to do our clamshells, we're going to have you come down onto your side. You can support your head with your hand, or you can have it just rest on your arm. This top hip here, I want you to bring your leg, your knee just past the bottom knee, so there's a little bit of space or a little, yeah, a little bit of space between them. From here, you're gonna think about squeezing your bum cheek. You're gonna open up like a clamshell and back down. And what I want you to think about while you're doing this is you're trying to squeeze those glutes or those bum cheek muscles together. Good. So this is number four. So you should start to feel the muscles on the side of your glutes wake up. Should start to feel them working. We're going to go one more. All right, we're going to switch sides here. So again, cradling that head in your hand for support, taking that top knee, pulling it just past the bottom. Again, you're going to squeeze your glutes, your bum muscles as you open up like a clamshell and back down. Good. This is three. Here's four, five, we've got three more, six, think about squeezing those bum muscles, seven, again, if you're doing it right, you're kind of feeling those muscles on the top working, and eight, excellent. All right, so from here, we're going to start to activate multiple joints together. So we're going to move into a bird dog, which is going to work shoulders, core, and hips, so we're starting to do some more multi-plane or multi-joint movements. So for our bird dog, we're going to start with wrists right underneath shoulders and knees right underneath hips. And I'm actually going to adjust my position so you can see me a little bit better on the camera. See if that works. Okay. Now I'm going to give you two variations. So the first variation is you're going to keep both wrists on the ground and you're just going to push one leg back and bring it back in. And you're going to alternate to the other side. So again, that's one variation. Second variation, we can do arm and leg out and back in. And what we wanna make sure is this back stays nice and flat, so we're pulling those belly buttons in a little bit. And again, we're making sure our hips stay nice and still and our shoulders stay away from our ears. 
good. I'm going to get you guys to keep going. I'm just going to check the chat box here. Awesome. Looking great, guys. All right. We are going to do one more each side with our bird dog. Here we go. One. Good. And last one. All right, so from here, moving into our next activation exercise, we're gonna be moving into our glute bridges. So for these guys, we're moving back onto our back. Now, what I would like you to do is line your heels up with your sit bones or kind of where your bum cheeks are. So feet should be about hip width apart. They shouldn't be touching each other. So we want some space between them. What I'm going to get you to do is you're going to think about squeezing your bum cheeks again, because again, that's part of what we're activating. You're going to pull in your belly button just a little bit, and then you're going to try to push your hips up as high as you can. So we're trying to create as much space between the floor and our bum. Slowly lower back down. Again, squeeze those bum cheeks. Now, when, while you're doing this, you can kind of keep an eye on your knees, and you want to make sure they stay in line with your hips the entire time. One thing that can happen is you may see your knees start to fall in towards center a little bit. We want to try to avoid that by keeping them in line with our hips. Good. This is number five. We want to do five more. Here's six. Again, trying to create as much space between your bum and the ground. Here's number seven. We got three left. Number eight, this is when we sometimes start to get tired and we may not raise our hips as high. So let's really focus on squeezing those bum cheeks as much as we can. All right, we got one more here. Awesome, all right. So we have one more activation exercise going here. Again, just gonna check the chat. Awesome, hi Lori, hi Nick. All right, so we're going to do our single leg pulls. So you've done this with many instructors, myself included, before this. Um, I believe Coach Marie did these, or no, Lisa did these last week as well. So we're going to pull one leg in as high as we can and then bring it back down. So this is working on balance as well as two. Ooh, there goes my balance. Excellent, and pulling up. Good. So that's two aside. We're going six aside. So again, if you need a chair for a little bit of balance, you can bring that guy in. And then just one hand, and you'll work just one side to start with. And then we would switch and do the other way. Okay, we've got two left here. And one more. Awesome. Okay. So everyone, if you've got a sip of, or a, a water bottle, I'm going to grab a quick sip here. We're going to move into the next part of our workout. So from here, what we're going to do is we're going to move into some mobility exercises. So mobility is really important because it allows us uh, range of motion around our joints. I think the last time I did this, I gave the example of throwing. So if you can only lift your arm to here, we're not going to throw the bar, ball as far as if we can take that arm all the way back. So it's really important that we work on mobility with all our joints in our body. All right. So we're going to start with our hip openers. So for hip openers, you might want a chair to help balance. I'm going to be using a chair. And so what we're going to do is stand nice and tall. Oh, there's Charlie. We're going to bring one knee up. And then we're gonna rotate that knee out to the side and we're gonna bring it back in and back down. Now the key with this is we need to make sure that this stabilizing hip does not move when we move this other leg. So an example that we don't wanna see would be this. So we don't want that other hip to move. So we just want to stay nice and still while the one side works. Good. All right, we're gonna switch and do the other side. Oh, perfect. Charlie moved at just the right time. All right, so again, stabilizing legs stay still, where it's just our other leg that's going to move. We're going to be doing eight times a side. This is two. I made the mistake of grabbing the chair that has her toy on it, so <laughs> good. Three, 
four. Good, again, I want you guys to think nice, tall posture, shoulders rolled back and down, proud chest. Oh, I moved my stabilizing hip there a little bit. I'm gonna have to keep that guy still. Good. And we've got one last one here. Okay. So the next exercise we're gonna do for mobility is actually for our back and it's gonna play into one of the exercises we're gonna do later. So that's why I chose it. And this is called a spinal roll down. And I'm gonna give you an option for a seated spinal roll down and a standing spinal roll down. So most important things is to have a slight bend in your knees. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna start at the top of our head and we're gonna start by bringing our chin to our chest. And then we're gonna start to round our shoulders. And then from there, moving into our upper back. Nice and slow, one vertebrae at a time. Keep those knees slightly bent for me. And you're gonna roll down as far as you can. Now, if you can't touch the ground, that is okay because my fingertips can't quite touch the ground. From here, again, we're gonna slowly start rolling back up. I want you to think about squeezing your bum cheeks because we've already activated them because that's gonna help give you the stability to start to roll back up. Good, so that's one. We've got four in total. Now, for those of you who are seated, we can also do this seated as well. So we're gonna do this seated. You're gonna start at the edge of your chair and we're gonna start again with that chin. For those of you who are standing, you can keep standing, but if you're seated, we're gonna keep rolling again one vertebrae at a time. Now again, there will be a point where we can't go any further and that's okay. That means that's where we're gonna start our roll up. So again, starting one vertebrae at a time, coming all the way back up, rolling those shoulders back and down, head looking forward. We got two more to go here. So again, you can choose to either do them seated or standing, depending on what's gonna work best for you. So starting with that chin, tucking it in, let those shoulders start to fall forward. Remember to keep that slight bend in your knee, letting the arms get nice and heavy as you start to roll down a little bit more each time. And you feel those arms hang. Now from here, again, thinking about slight bend in your knee, squeeze your bum cheeks as you start to slowly come up. One vertebrae at a time. Again, rolling those shoulders on and back, looking forward. Last one, here we go. Tucking that chin down, moving to our shoulders, letting those guys round get nice and heavy. Again, let everything get or start to reach towards the ground here. And then when you can't go any further, squeeze your bum cheeks and slowly start to rise back up. Excellent, well done. We've got one more mobility exercise to go through here. And these are gonna be some shoulder circles. So we've warmed up our hips with our hip mobility. We've warmed up through our back. Now we're gonna work into our shoulders for mobility. So we're gonna do 10 arm circles going backwards. I want you to think you're trying to get your fingertips up to the roof each time. That's three. <clears throat> Here is four, five, six, seven, eight, good, nine, ten. We're going to go forwards. Again, trying to get those arms all the way up and over. Two. I'm going to check the chat here. I want you guys to keep going. Three, four, good, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, last one, 10. All right, so we're through our mobility. So our next part of our warm up is we're gonna get into what we call dynamic flexibility. I also find this is where we get your heart rate elevated, which a little bit, which is perfect. So again, everyone grab a quick sip of water here. Let's see what the chat says. Hi, Kaylin. Yeah, you will feel that spinal roll down in your back. You got it. Hi, Michaela. All right. So what we're going to do is we're gonna do 30 seconds of running on the spot. You're gonna get a short break. We're then gonna do 30 seconds of high knees. You'll get a short break. We're then gonna do 30 seconds bum kicks. You'll get a short break. And then what we're gonna do is finish off with some uh, jumping jacks or step jacks, depending on where you're at. So I promise to give you a break, but we need to make sure we go for the full 30 seconds each time. So we're gonna start with running on the spot. 
I'm gonna get my timer going. All right, and here we go. So 30 seconds running on the spot. Good. Now, again, if you want to go faster, you can or pull those knees a little bit higher, you can as well too. I got neighbors who live below me, so I won't be going quite as hard or quite as fast as some of you may. But what I do want you to focus on is shoulders down and back. So we keep that chest open so we can get lots of good air in. Excellent. All right, four, three, two, one, and relax. You're gonna get 10 seconds rest, and then we're going into our bum kicks. So I'm gonna turn to the side just so you can see what the bum kicks look like. Here we go, we're gonna go for 30 seconds. You wanna think about bringing your heels to your bum. Again, if they don't touch all the way, that's okay. Sometimes if we have some knee issues, we may, not, we may only get them up a quarter bit, and that's okay as well. You're gonna have a chair out in front if you need to for balance. Okay, we got 10 seconds here and then we're gonna get another short rest. Excellent, you can start to feel your hamstrings warm up. Good, and relax. All right, 10 seconds rest. Now we're gonna go to high knees. All right, so here we go in five, four, three, two, one, high knees. Excellent, get nice and tall, shoulders down and back. If you want, you can take it a little bit slower depending on what feels best for you. But I want you to see how high you can pull that knee up towards your body. Good, we got 15 seconds left here. If you get the arms in, it's gonna give you a little bit more power. Really get that blood flowing. Excellent. We got 10 seconds, or sorry, five seconds. Three, two, one, and relax. All right, I'm just gonna fix my mat here. All right, our last part of our dynamic flexibility is gonna be jumping jacks or either step jacks. So I'll give demonstrations for both. So jumping jacks or step jacks. So sometimes we can't do impact because it might be our knees or hips. So in that case, we're gonna step out to the side, hands come up, step together. Step to the other side, oh, I'm out of frame. Hands come back together. So we've got options of doing either, depending on what's gonna suit best for you. So we're gonna get going here in five, four, three, two, one. There we go, 30 second step jacks or jumping jacks. Again, because I got neighbors below me, I'm gonna stick with the step jacks for now. Excellent. So you guys should find your heart rate, should be getting up here. It's a little bit harder to talk. That's what I'm noticing anyway. Good. We got 10 seconds left. Excellent. Five, four, three, two, one. Excellent. Good job. All right. You guys have earned a little bit of rest. So I can get you to grab a little bit of water here. Oh, good. I'm glad Robin likes high knees. I like that exercise too. So from here, we're now moving into our drills. Drills are really important because they help prep our body in similar ways for when we are doing our main set or our endurance set. So for our drills, we're gonna start with something called squat mobility, because we will be doing some squats later. Then we're gonna do a warm up or a, a drill for our shoulders, okay? So I did this, or we went through this last time I hosted. So for our squat mobility, you wanna take your feet about hip width apart, or some people tend to be a little narrower, some people tend to be a little wider, that's okay. If your toes turn out, that's okay too. And what I'm gonna get you to do is you're gonna bend your knees, and then what you're gonna do is you're gonna see how close you can get your hands to the ground. From here, you're gonna bring your bum down a little bit, you're gonna bring one arm up, other arm up, and squeeze your bum cheeks all the way out. Again, we're gonna bend those knees a little bit, Bring our hands as close as we can to the ground. We're gonna pull ourselves down into a squat, one arm up, other arm up. Good. Now, if you need a variation, we can do this while we're sitting as well too. So I'm gonna push your bum back to the chair, one arm up, other arm up, squeeze your bum cheeks back up. So again, if you need an alteration, because we can't get into a squat, you're gonna stick your bum up to a chair, one arm up, other arm up, and squeeze up. Okay, we are going to do three more of these. 
So bending those knees, bring the hands to the ground. One, two, and up. All right, last two, bending those knees, hands come to the ground, pull ourselves into a squat. And what you should find is as we get close to finishing these, you should be able to get a little deeper into your squat position and your shoulders should warm up and get a little higher. So that's drill number one. Drill number two, we'll go this way here, is gonna warm up your shoulders because we're gonna be doing some work that involves them later. So I'm gonna get you either lying on the ground or I'll give you a alternative in just a moment here if we can't get to the ground. So if you're on the ground, we want just our nose to kind of rest, rest there. We don't want our neck too tight or engaged. We're gonna bring our hands out into a Y position. So we wanna think we're making the letter Y with our body. And then what we're gonna do here is thumbs are gonna point up. So you can kind of see my thumbs moving here. We're gonna lift arms up and back down. So it's like we're trying to lift our thumbs up towards the ceiling without having our neck move. So our face or nose should continue to stay on the ground. Now for those of you, oh, hi Charlie, who need an alternative exercise, we're gonna use the back of our chair. And so we're gonna put ourselves into a similar position. We're gonna bend our knees, stick our bums out. Our head looks down as if it was touching the floor and our thumbs are out and sticking up. We're gonna lift up and come back down. We could even try one side or the other if you want, if you're finding doing both arms at the same time a little challenging. Excellent. I'm gonna get everybody to finish with the last two that they're doing there. Good, and relax. Okay, so from here, we finished our, our, our all parts of our warm up, and we're gonna move into our main endurance set. So again, our goal for our endurance is to get our heart rates up and sustain it. And what that's gonna do is help get our heart stronger, get our lungs, get our lungs uh, stronger as well too. Um, now I see we got some people keeping score of the hockey game on here. Um, we'll make sure we stop for score checks, but when we are doing our main endurance set here, let's focus on getting through all exercises. I promise to give you lots of rest when when we're supposed to take it. So right now is one of those times, so let's grab some water. So how the sets are gonna work up or work, uh, work today is you're going to do three exercises in a row without a break, and then you will get a break. So our first circuit, I'll show you in a second, but we're gonna do uh, 30 seconds of squats, 30 seconds of bent over Y raises, and then 30 seconds of walkouts. We're gonna complete that all in one go without stopping, and then you're gonna get a full minute rest. We're gonna then repeat that another three times. So we'll actually go through that circuit four times. Okay, good, Andrew. I'm glad you're still exercising while checking the score at the same time. That's perfect, good, good. Okay, so I'm gonna demo. So I don't want you guys to do these yet because I'm just gonna demo the exercises in addition to um, alternative exercises depending if uh, we can't get down to the ground or things like that, okay? So don't do these yet, I'm just gonna demo. So exercise one is going to be squats. So this is why we did our squat mobility. So our squats, hands are out in front, squeeze our bum on the way out. If you want, some people like to have their hands out in front. Other people may like to have their hands on your hips. So that's exercise one. Here's your alternative to exercise one. You're gonna have your chair out and we're gonna do sit to stands. So you're gonna push your bum back, it's lightly gonna to touch the chair, and then you're gonna squeeze your bum cheeks up. So same idea, we're just adding the chair in. Either one is totally fine, depending on what's gonna work best for you. Exercise number two is gonna look familiar as well. It's going to be Y raises, but this time I'm putting you in a position that's gonna challenge your core muscles a little bit more as well. So it's very important, we have a slight bend in our knees, and then we want to think about tipping over a little bit. So our back is nice and flat like a table with our knees bent. Our arms are going to come out to that wide Y position. Again, thumbs point up to the roof. We're going to lift up and come back down. So we're working our shoulders as well as strengthening our back in this position. Again, very important. 
We're gonna think about that back nice and flat, okay? Now, our third exercise is going to be walkouts. Now, again, I'm gonna give you two variations for your walkouts. Oh, I'm just a little bit off camera there. So this is why we did our spinal roll downs earlier. So for our walkout, you're gonna bend your knees, and touch the floor. You're gonna walk yourself out to a high plank position. And then you're gonna walk yourself back, making sure we bend those knees as we come up. So again, for our walkout, we're gonna bend our knees, hands come to the floor. We're gonna walk ourselves out to a high plank position. Bend our knees, walk ourselves back. An alternative for this exercise is we can start from our knees. From our knees, we're gonna walk out to that same position. This time, again, just instead of our toes being on the ground, it's our knees as our kind of anchor point. So again, either option works. So I've gone, we have squats, which is a harder exercise, our Y raises, which are a little easier, gives us time to recover our breath a little bit, and then we go back into our walkouts, okay. Is everybody ready to go here? All right, so again, 30 seconds of each exercise and then we're gonna get a break, okay? So, we're gonna start with our squats here. I'm just gonna reset my watch. All right, here we go. 30 seconds of squats or sit to stand to a chair, depending on what you've got available. Again, we wanna practice to squeeze those bum cheeks all the way up. Really get those glute muscles involved. Awesome. So we are at 15 seconds. We're halfway with this first exercise. Good job, everybody. Remember, think about breathing. Want think about exhaling. Good. And relax. We're going to go into our Y exercises now. So again, we want to bend those knees. Stick our bum out so our back is nice and flat. Arms are out to a Y. And here we go. Lifting up and back down. If you find this a little bit challenging on your back, what you can do is raise your knees a little bit and that will take a little bit of pressure off. Okay, we have 15 seconds left here based off of my watch calculations. Good. Take those deep breaths in and exhale while we can. All right, we're gonna get to our walkouts next here. So we wanna push through this last 30 seconds and then you're gonna get a break. All right, so our walkouts, coming out to high plank, bending those knees, walking ourselves back up. Again, you have the option of doing these straight from your knees if we need to take a different position. Good. We have 15 seconds left here. You guys are doing great. Don't stop. We're gonna keep going. Okay, back. All right, last one here. And back. Okay. Whew, well done. We're done. One set. We have. We're gonna do at least two more because I wanna make sure we have time to get to our second circuit as well because I've got two of these planned. So let's make sure we grab some water. We're on our minute rest here. Hi, Carla. Hi, Matthew. Awesome, we got lots of people going here. Awesome. All right. So we have about 20 seconds left in our rest here, and then we're going to get back to our set here. Okay. Here we go. <clears throat> so we're going to start with our squats. All right. Here we go. In three, two, 30. If you want to challenge yourself a little bit, you can go a little bit faster, but let's make sure we still have good form. So we're going to be pushing our bum back and squeezing on the way up. We got 15 seconds left here. Excellent, you guys are doing great. So again, we're gonna move between each exercise with a little rest, because you're gonna get that at the end. Good. And relax, okay. We're gonna go into our wide Y arm raises. So again, bend those knees. 
Everything about tipping our back forward so it's nice and flat like you could eat dinner off of it. Arms out to the side, thumbs pointing up. Here we go. 30 seconds. Again, this is our little bit of an easier exercise. So this is time to kind of recover your breath a little bit because we've got walkouts after this, which are going to be a little bit more challenging. All right, 10 seconds. Good, and come back up. Okay guys, we got this, here we go. We're going straight into our walkouts. This is where we start to build those strong heart and strong lung muscles. You guys can do this. Again, think about breathing. I know it's really tempting to hold your breath here, but I want you to think about big inhales and exhales. We can get two more in here before the time stops. Here we go. One more. Good job, guys. All right, let's grab some water. We've got our minute rest here. All right, guys, remember, we, we keep the chat to rest times. I know it's really exciting to chat, but remember, we want to work during our work part, and then when we get our rest, we can do our rest and hang out in the chat there. Hi, Darby, no worries. That's awesome that you just had Zoom floor hockey as well, too. Okay. We have about 20 seconds left here, and then we're going to get going with our last set. Awesome. You guys are doing fantastic here. All right, let's get ready for our last set of squats. Whew. Okay, everyone take one. Exhale, shake it all out. Okay, we got this last set of squats. Here we go. All right, let's challenge ourselves. How many can we do in 30 seconds here? Again, still focusing on that good form. Squeezing those bum cheeks as we come up. We got 15 seconds left. Awesome. Good job, everybody. Five, four, three, two, one. All right, We're going back into our wide Y exercises. So bend those knees, stick your bum out, think nice flat back. Thumbs point up, here we go, 30 seconds. So you should feel this into your shoulder blades and into your mid back, because those are the muscles we we're working with this one. Again, think about thumbs pointing up to the roof each time. Excellent, we're about halfway done. All right, moving into our last five, four, three, two, one, stand up. All right, we're going into our work walkouts. Here, you here we go, guys, no stopping. High plank and walk it back. Now, if you find you are getting tired and you're having a little bit of trouble getting these down, you can slow them down or you can move and complete them from your knees. Whew. It's getting warm. Good job, everybody. All right, let's see if we can get sneak in two more here. And last one. Whew. Awesome. All right. Now, while you guys take your minute rest, I'm going to show you what our second set is going to look like. So we're going to do this again, but with three new exercises. So while you guys are getting your rest. Okay. All right. So we're going to be doing some lunges. Now you can choose to do these with or without a chair for support. We're going to be doing 30 seconds on one leg, so you don't need to alternate. So again, for our lunges, we want to make sure that front knee, again, you guys don't need to do these right now. I'm just demonstrating, is bending and staying in line with those toes. I don't want to see it fall inwards like it is right now, where I take it, push it out and keep it over those toes. If you need to, you can have one hand or two hands on a chair. And again, you can vary how deep you go. So some people may get just about to the ground. Other people, it may be best for them just to go halfway. So that's exercise number one. 
Exercise number two, again, I'll give you two different options. So option one is going to be bicycles. So we're going to be on our back. We're gonna bring those knees up so they're at 90 degrees. And then we're gonna support our head with our fingertips. And we're gonna go opposite knee to opposite elbow while the other leg is pushing out. So that's option one. Option two, if you need to sit in a chair, is you're gonna do some flutter kicks. So option two, you're gonna sit in your chair, nice and tall, roll your shoulders down and back, point your toes and you're gonna flutter kick and that's gonna work that core if you are sitting nice and tall, okay? Third exercise. From here, I gotta look at my list because I forgot it for a second. Oh yes, our push jacks, okay. So this is where your pillow comes into play. So we're gonna start with it at our chest. As your legs come up, pillow goes out, and then back in, pillow comes back down. So these guys, just like the walkouts, are gonna get your heart rate going. Again, if we need an alternative, this is where our step jacks come back in. So out to the side. So again, we have different ones depending on what's gonna work best for you. Okay, you've had Really good rest here. So let's grab a little bit of water. Okay, here we go. Last set, you guys, you got this. Oh, good, I'm glad you like the bicycles, Evan. Okay, we're gonna start with our lunges. So if you need to have a chair for front for balance, that's fine. We're gonna work just one side. So we're gonna start with left legs. Nice and tall, reset my timer here. Here we go, 30 seconds just on that left leg. What I want you to think about doing is going straight up and down. A lot of people when they lunge think about always lunging forward, but actually what we wanna do, or what I'd like everyone to do today, is go straight up and down. And I think about squeezing those bum cheeks as we come all the way up. Okay, we got five seconds left. Good. And relax. Okay, we're going to go either into our flutter kicks on our chair or bicycles on the ground. All right, check my watch. Okay, here goes our 30 seconds. Now you want to think about touching that knee to that elbow to really start to work your side core muscles, which we call your obliques. Good. We have 10 seconds left here, guys. You're doing great. And then we're gonna go to our step jacks or our jack pushes. And relax. Okay, we're gonna get everybody up. Grab your pillow if you are doing your push jacks. You don't need to pillow if you're doing your step jacks. We got 30 seconds. Here we go. Ooh, my headphones are not standing in my ears. There we go. Oh, that one's falling out. There we go. Out, in, out, in, out, in. Good job, guys. I'm going to continue to step jacks here. Good. We have 15 seconds left. Good job, everybody. Whew. My heart rate's going. Good. And relax. All right, we get a minute rest. Everybody grab some water here. Whew. Excellent. Awesome, Catherine, or Jordan, I'm glad to hear those walkouts are coming along for you. Janet, I like you cheering everybody on. Keep it up, I love it. Whew, water. Awesome, Lori did 30 flutter kicks and 30 jumping jacks. Beautiful. We're doing great, guys. All right, we're gonna get going here. Here we go. Seconds. All right, so this time we're gonna have our right leg out in front because we did our left leg with our lunges last time. If you happen to have done the opposites, that's fine. Just do the other leg. Okay, here we go. 30 seconds. Whew. Excellent. So again, think about squeezing those bum cheeks as we come up. We wanna think nice and tall. 
you can imagine we're between two sets of glass panels. So that means we need to have a nice tall posture. We don't want to be rounded over. Good, five seconds. Excellent. All right, we're going to go into our flutter kicks or into our bicycles. Good, bring those legs up, supporting that head and neck opposite. So we are trying to get that elbow and knee to touch. Think about exhaling as we twist. Good job, everybody. We're doing great. All right, last one. Good. All right, we're going to stand up. So again, we have the option of doing our push jacks or our, um, our side jacks. So here we go. Last 30 seconds. Excellent. Whew. Again, big inhales, big exhales. Try not to hold your breath. Good job, guys. We are 15 seconds down. We have 15 more to go here. Excellent. And relax. All right. So we have one more time to get through this. And then we're gonna go into our, our eight week challenge exercise, which is our one minute high knees and one minute wall sits. Awesome, numbers seem to be going up here. Laura got four, 40 flutter kicks in this time, perfect. Nick got 20, 50, 30. Jordan got 40. Whew. All right guys, we're almost there. I'm gonna give you another 20 seconds rest. And we're gonna, we're gonna move hard through this last set here. So again, no stopping in between. I know you guys have this. Oh, Will just hit 10,000 steps on his Fitbit, fantastic. Lori did 30 side jumps, awesome. All right guys, we got one last set, we can do this, here we go. All right, so with our lunges, I'm gonna say switch halfway through, that way we can get even time on our right and even time on our left. So here we go, into our lunge position and down. So a little shorter on each top, each side this time, just because we want to make sure we work both feet, both sides evenly. Five more seconds and we're going to switch to the other direction. Good, and swap. So we're going to bring your other leg forward and down. Good, so again, think about squeezing those bum cheeks as you come up. Well done, everybody. Good, five, four, three, two, one. Okay, let's go into our flutter kicks or our bicycles. We got two exercises left, guys. We got this. Here we go, twisting, opposite knee to opposite elbow. If you're doing flutter kicks, think about keeping your shoulders down and back, sitting nice and tall in your chair. Pulling that belly button to your spine. Excellent, and relax. Whew. Okay, here we go. Last set. So either step jacks or whatever step or jack pushes, okay? Here we go, 30 seconds. You guys are so close, we're almost on this workout. You're doing amazing. That's it. Let's see, how much can we get in the last 15 seconds here? All right, five, four, three, two, one. Whew, shake it all out. Okay, I'm gonna give everybody a good two minutes rest here. Oh, am I frozen still? Somebody says I'm frozen. Oh. If you can let me know if I'm unfrozen, that would be fantastic. Okay. Okay, we're gonna get two minutes rest here because we have our eight week challenge left. Oh, I was frozen, but I'm unfrozen now. Okay, good. 
So I'm gonna grab some water. Awesome. Okay. So let's take a couple deep breaths in. Okay, that's good to know I'm fine. I'm looking good on everybody's in here now. Okay, awesome. Okay, we're gonna take a couple deep breaths. Exhale, shake it all out. Cause we got one more hard thing to go through and then we get to stretch. So again, take another big inhale. You can raise your arms up if you want. And exhale, let's relax. Get all that tension out of our shoulders, out of our back. Again, another big inhale. And exhale. Now, this is where we're going to want our piece of paper again to write down if things felt easy, medium, or hard. So I got my paper here. So I'm going to be putting down for my high knees. And then again, one means easy, two means medium, three means hard. And we're going to record after we've done our high knees how that felt to us, okay? So again, we're not going just yet, but again, easy, we feel like we're down here for effort, medium, and then hard is above our head. And we're gonna write that down after we're done. So we're gonna be doing a full minute of high knees. We've, got, we've been doing this with everybody for the last eight weeks, so we definitely can get it done today. So I'm gonna get everybody standing up for me. Again, shake everything out if you need to, take a deep breath in and exhale. All right, we're going to get going with our one minute of high knees. Here we go in three, two, one. Here we go. High knees. One full minute. How high can you pull those knees up? Excellent. Good job, guys. Think about keeping those shoulders relaxed, not up by your ears. We want them down and away. Think about pumping those arms as we go. Excellent. Good job, everybody. We're 20 seconds in. That means we've got 40 more seconds to go. We're one third of the way done. Good job, guys. Keep this going. All right, we're officially halfway done. You guys are champions. Let's keep this up. Again, nice and tall. Check those shoulders. How high can you pull those knees? We have 15 seconds. That's it. We're three quarters of the way done, guys. Good job. Okay. Last five, four, three, two, one, and relax. Take another deep breath in. Exhale it all out. Shake it all out. So again, you're going to come to your paper for your high knees. Easy, medium, or hard. So one, two, or three. And again, this is what we've been able to compare over the past few weeks. So this should start to feel easier because we've built up our endurance over time. Whew. Okay, everyone grab some water. So we got one more exercise. Awesome, Jordan did 330 high knees. We got one more exercise before we get to start our stretches here, okay? That's gonna be our wall sits. All right, we still have a little bit of time here before we get going. I'm just going to adjust where my camera is positioned so you guys are able to see me doing my wall sits as well. Let's try. That move that cat toy out of the way. Okay, that should do it. 80, awesome. Kelly did 80 high knees. Lori did 50. Congrats, guys. That's beautiful. Okay, so let's talk quick positioning for our high knee or for our wall sits. So we're going to want our feet hip width apart, back against the wall, and we want our feet away from the wall. We don't want them too close. So when we go down into our wall sit, we want to go to about 90 degrees at our knees and we want to try to keep pressure off of our thighs. So if you can, try to keep your hands up front. You can fiddle with them. You can do wrist circles, things like that, okay? So let's come out and give our legs a shake. That was our practice to make sure we had a good position. Okay, everybody ready? Our last exercise and then we're going to stretch. So feet hip width apart. Sink those knee or sink those bum cheeks down so we're about 90 degrees at the knees here we go we're gonna think about breathing i also need to try to keep my hands off my legs as well good job guys big inhales and exhales 
We are officially a quarter of the way done. We're 15 seconds through. We got this. We can do this another 45 seconds easily. Good, keep those shoulders open, nice and wide. Take another big inhale for me. And exhale, we are 30 seconds through guys, we're halfway done. Now if your legs are starting to shake, that's good. That means you're working the right muscles. Think about squeezing those bum cheeks, keep that back press against the wall. If you need to, start doing some wrist circles. That helps us distract us from how hard our legs are working. Guess what, we have less than 15 seconds and then we're done and we get to stretch. You got this guys, big inhale. Exhale, keep those legs going, you got this. Good job guys, three, two, one, squeezing up, amazing. Give those legs a shake out because they are probably feeling it after that. Whew. Awesome, good, it's awesome to see that these intensity, that means we've really worked our endurance system over the past eight weeks and you guys are improving beautiful so we are going to be moving into our stretches okay so again i'll try to give seated on the floor as well as seated in chair variations okay so first one here is going to be for our hamstrings so version one if you want to do these on the floor all right take one leg you're going to pull that heel inwards towards your body you're going to sit nice and tall now this straight leg is the one that should be is you should feel the stretch in. I've got my toe pointed towards me. And then if you already feel a stretch in the back of your leg, perfect. You don't need to move. You can just hang out right where you are. If you don't, what you're going to do is then keeping your shoulders away from your ears, you're going to bring your hands as far as you can forward. Now, I can't quite touch my toes, so that's okay. So if you can't touch your toes either, that's all right as well. Some people may be able to go past their toes. Wherever you're at is just fine. Now again, we wanna make sure we're holding these stretches for 30 seconds, because that's how we're gonna get really good benefit from them. So taking a deep breath in and exhale. Now for those of you who may be sitting in a chair, another really good option is sitting on the edge of your chair one leg is out straight again you're going to have your toes pulled towards you and you're going to reach again keeping that leg straight towards your toes you're going to feel that stretch in the back part of your leg so for those of you who are on the floor you can switch and do the other side for those of you who have just started in the chair we're going to hang out here just a little bit longer Again, breathing is a really important part of our stretches. So we want to make sure we're taking really deep breaths in. And nice, slow exhales out. All right, if you're in the chair, you can switch to your other side. Again, nice and tall, leaning forward. Deep breath in. And exhale. Excellent. Everybody's doing fantastic. Now it should feel really good after a workout to stretch your muscles out. And take one more big inhale and exhale. All right, so we've stretched out the back of our legs. We're now gonna move to the front. So our quads and our hip flexors. So version one, if you've got a chair, I'll show you quickly hands on the back of the chair. You're gonna take a little bit of a lunge position, but the one difference is, is this back leg is fairly straight. And you should feel that stretch in that front part of that back leg. If you're doing it from the ground, you're gonna take almost the exact same position, but this time your knee is gonna rest along the ground and we're gonna lean forward till we get that stretch. So here we go. Make sure we're still sitting nice and tall, so we don't wanna see a big arch in the back. We still want to make sure our rib cage is over our hips. If you want, you can bring your arm up and tilt to the side. That'll increase the stretch a little bit. But you can also just keep your arm down by your side if you'd like to. Taking a deep breath in. And exhale. Good. One more time. Deep breath in. And exhale. All right, we're going to switch legs. So if you're standing up, you're gonna switch which leg is front, which leg is back. Same thing if you are on the ground like I am. 
Again, keeping rib cage and hip connected, leaning forward till we feel a stretch in the front part of that back leg. Again, nice big inhale. And exhale. Again, nice big inhale. And exhale. Good, we're gonna take one more breath in. And out. All right, Woo. our next stretch, we're gonna move into our glutes or our bum cheeks, which we worked a lot today. So option one, again, if you're in a chair, you're gonna bring that leg up and over. Make sure your toe is pointing towards your knee and you're gonna feel a stretch in that bent side. For those of you who are on the ground, we're gonna come on to our backs. What we're going to do is cross our ankle over on one leg and then we're gonna pull and loop our hands through and hang out in this position. Again, either or is fine. Whatever is gonna fit best for you. Again, we're gonna take a nice deep breath in. And exhale. And another deep breath in. And a really nice slow exhale. So breathing is also really important with stretching because it helps calm our body down. With exercise, we, uh, we increase um, what I like to call arousal and we get lots of hormones and stuff floating through our system that make us or help us perform really, really well when we're exercising or playing a game. But we also wanna be able to calm our body down after and breathing is a great way to do that with stretching. Yeah, switch sides. So again, as you take a nice deep breath in, you're gonna take a nice slow exhale. And just check in and see how your body feels after you take those nice big exhales. Oh, it looks like Charlie may come join us for some stretches. And exhale. Good, one more time. And exhale. All right, so we've stretched out our lower body. We're gonna move into our upper body here next. So what we're going to do is we're gonna stretch out kind of our, our, our mid to lower back muscles. We have a muscle back here called our QL that can sometimes get tight. So we're gonna stretch that guy out. Now this one I find is often best on standing. So what you're gonna do is grab a chair. What I'm gonna get you to do is you're gonna take your outside leg. So for me, that's my left leg. And I'm gonna cross it. Oop. I'm gonna cross it behind my leg that's closest to the chair. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna tip over, kind of like a teapot. We're gonna get this big stretch, not only through our lats and the side of our back, but down into this little that QL muscle back there. So again, deep breath in. I guess you kind of look like a ballerina when we're doing this stretch. And exhale. Again, our goal is to calm our body down after our workout. One more and then we're gonna switch sides. So bring that arm down, coming back up to standing. I'm just gonna switch my chair to the other side. So again, you wanna take your outside leg. So for me, this time it's my right leg. Cross it behind my other leg. And then we're coming up and tipping over like a teapot. Now I can tell already my right side is definitely tighter than my left side. Again, big inhale. And exhale, let that tension start to leave your body, your shoulders start to relax a little bit more. All right, one more big inhale. Bring that arm down. All right, moving up into our body even more. We're going to move into our uh, chest muscles. We're gonna grab our hands behind. We're gonna pull straight down. Now, if you feel this stretch through here, perfect. Keep those hands there. If you don't feel much of a stretch there, what you're gonna do is bring your arms up and that should increase the stretch. You can also hinge forward a little bit and that should help. Now you can also do this stretch standing. Again, taking a nice big deep breath in. 
Exhale, think about letting those shoulders relax. Again, another deep breath in. We've got just one more stretch after this. Oh, and I need to give you guys your um, password too. I just about forgot that. I'm glad that tricked my memory. All right, so while we're stretching here, your peak password for this Wednesday is competitions. So I like to do skating competitions. So again, today's peak password is competitions. Good. All right, we're moving to our last stretch here. So we're gonna do some child's pose. This is good for our shoulders and for our back. So with child's pose, oh, I've got chairs everywhere now. We're gonna bring our heels together. Our knees are gonna be wide apart and we're gonna sink our bum back to our hips. From here, we're gonna walk our hands out in front and just let our head rest gently on the floor. If you're doing this from standing, you can get a very similar position by using the back of a chair. Again, just keep those knees a little bit bent and let your head hang between. Taking a nice deep breath in and exhale. Good, nice deep breath in again. You're gonna feel this stretch all the way through your upper back and shoulder area. Again, for those of you, uh, or for everybody, uh, the peak password for today is competitions. Good, very slowly come out. Give yourself a big shoulder roll backwards. Give yourself a pat on the back. You guys did fantastic today. All right, thanks for everybody for coming. This was fantastic. Um, it is officially 8.03, so I'll stay on for kind of two, three more minutes. If anyone has any questions, things like that, you can pop them in the chat. Other than that, congrats, guys. You did amazing tonight. Um, and keep up the great work. I hope you guys have a fantastic time with the virtual Shamrock Dance.